animal kingdom has a lot to teach, not just scientists who are seeking to learn, but also engineers who are seeking to create. In the Squid Skin Project, we're trying to pursue two really broad goals. The first is a basic science goal uh, and, uh, to understand how uh, squid and other cephalopods are able to so accurately and quickly and effectively camouflage themselves against very complicated uh, marine backgrounds. From this basic understanding, we're then trying to engineer a, a synthetic squid skin that will replace the eyes in the squid with cameras and other kind of light sensors, replace the skin with a, a metamaterial skin based on nanotechnology that can also reflect and absorb light at all kinds of wavelengths. And uh, finally, sophisticated computer algorithms that can tune the skin so that the skin will be able to, just like a squid, camouflage itself and blend perfectly into the background. We're realizing that there's an entirely new modality of sensing light fields from the world around us. In particular, this idea of the fact that squid have light sensors distributed throughout their entire body. An immediate application of the squid skin is coating the outside of a underwater vehicle, like a submarine, and allowing it to blend into the background so that it becomes a, a stealth a submarine, if you will, for cameras uh, and other prying eyes. Moving beyond uh, this, you could imagine moving uh, out of the water onto the land and putting an artificial squid skin on the outside of uh, vehicles so that it can also blend into the background and be able to drive around unseen in some kind of environment. From the, the context of engineering, this is very exciting to me because it, it, it's eventually going to help us to see things that, that we've never been able to see before.